here's what I'm up to today, kind of on the theme of what we were talking about yesterday, cutting metal. These um, strips here were formerly all long pieces together. Each one of these uh, represents three separate parts. On the rudder, right here, these are the stiffeners. So they just add some rigidity to the structure of the skin. Here they are, so they're kind of in pairs. The skin folds over this way, so <clears throat> they need to be this is sort of a side view of those strips. This is where they cut between the two separate parts and then the parts need to be, the shaded area needs to be removed because as this folds closed like a taco shell, these need to be narrower where they, where they meet and come together. So I have to separate all of these. This is just a blue vinyl, uh, sorry, separate all of these, which I've done. Um, the parts, most of the parts, the aluminum comes with this blue vinyl on them just to protect them while shipping, but um, it needs to come off. Some people leave it on for a long time to protect it during building, but it's really kind of pointless. So these stiffeners, you can see that I've already marked and measured, you can kind of see, but I've marked and measured where those cuts have to happen from the middle of this hole by my thumbnail to the middle of this hole right here, which is actually a couple different holes because it's the, the hole indicating where the cut between parts and then the, the guide hole right there. And then there's a shorter version of it on this end right here. So, tin snips are the best tool for this job because the bandsaw just brutalizes it and it ends up bending them. Here are a couple that I have finished already you can see this small cut here you can also see there's a little twist in the flange right there from having done that little bit on the bandsaw uh, that there's the long cut and then you can also see that all of the uh, all the edges have been um, deburred and cleaned up and then these little uh, jagged bits like you have here. So basically what happens is I make a rough cut along the line, like outside of the line, a rough cut with the tin snips and then I come over here and maybe take a little bit of material off with the disc sander, but this is really coarse. I use this for heavier aluminum. Um, so I try to get it maybe a 32nd of an inch away from the line, and then I can take the rest of it off here with the, the scotch Bright wheel, which is designed for this purpose. It wouldn't be good for steel, but it's good for aluminum. And as I've learned, you can't use a grinding wheel for steel and aluminum, because if it loads up with an aluminum and you use it on steel, it will explode. Anyways, that's what we're doing today and watching Top Gun. <laughs> so what I'll find out long, not too long after this is that it's much easier to do this work on the bandsaw. Um, you end up doing a lot of these stiffeners, not just for the rudder, but also for the elevators. Um, the instructions tell you that, um, or if you do any research, that the the wood cutting blade that comes on a bandsaw is good enough for a soft metal like thin aluminum. But if you spend like 10 bucks to get a metal cutting blade, it makes everything 10 times easier and almost 10 times faster. And that's what I ended up doing later on in the elevators, and there will be a video on that coming up. Once everything is um, separated and cut to the proper size and edges finished and whatnot, then it all gets clicked to the skin so that you can final size drill the holes. All the holes are very nearly the size that they need to be, which would be a number 40 um, in this case, um, but just slightly under, so it requires you to do that work. So instead of using a drill, I use a reamer. That's it for today.